different party setup should be really simple. It shouldn't take long at all. And it should be set up within 15 minutes. Get that wax in, get that wax warming um, so that it's scenting up the house before everyone gets there. And that should leave you a good 10, 15 minutes to follow, uh, to check in with your hostess and just help with any final food prep, um, setting up chairs, whatever she needs. You want it to seem so simple that she looks at you and says, oh, that was easy, I could do that. Um, and so you're going to also go over the outside orders. Remember, you've reminded her to get outside orders. Ask her if she has any, because then you can get those and kind of finish totaling them before everyone else gets there. Um, so you have an idea of where the party is, is at as far as numbers go. This is also when I like to follow, follow up on the tic-tac-toe sheet with her. Because you'll notice there are some things that would have to occur that night if she's going to fill her whole board. Like getting someone to book a party or listening to the Sensi opportunity. So follow up, ask her how she's doing on this. So that gives her an idea of what she needs to do throughout the night to finish filling it out. And then also going over the perpetual party reward. Explaining what she's going to get if someone books a party. She's going to get that half price item at her friend's party if, she, if they book that night. This is when I also like to just get an idea of who's coming to the party. I'm going to ask her if these people are familiar with Sensi. Sometimes I get answers that say, no, nobody knew what Sensi was, which is awesome. <laughs> but then it lets me know how I need to tailor my presentation that night. Because if they're brand new to Sensi, I'm going to talk a little bit more than I would if they're all just there reordering wax for their warmers. Uh, so I just like to get kind of an idea and see if she knows who might be interested in booking a party. So you all got one of these today. And I believe, did anybody bring theirs in with them? I was told that you guys were going to have these, but I think they got put in a different box. So nobody brought these in. So I'm just going to show you really quick. This is the Guess How Many Jar, which is a great way to get uh, your party started. I would set this up. Um, so let's say your host has a food in the kitchen, but your party is in a living room. I would set this in the kitchen because as people are coming in, they're typically mingling in the kitchen. So you have this filled with mini testers. They don't have to be current mini testers. These, this is a great way to use your old outdated mini testers. Just toss them in here and it's a guess how many. So you have to know how many you've got in here to start with. You have your little drawing pad here, which is going to be right next to it. So as the guests are coming in, just encourage them to fill that out and guess how many are in here because there's going to be a winner. Why are we having them do that? Because there's a reason behind everything we're doing at this party. We're getting their contact information, absolutely. They're filling it out and not only are they putting down their name and their address and their phone number and their email, they also have a chance to indicate to you on here if they're interested in booking a party or interested in more information about the business. So you're getting that information right away at the beginning. So in case somebody has to leave early or maybe has to give the order to their host later, you've already got their contact information here. So the other reason I like this is because it's got those mini testers. People come in and if they don't, if they've never been to a Sensi party, well, what are those? Lip gloss? How many of you have heard that one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a great opportunity to say, no, it's not lip gloss. Those are our testers, and it's part of our basket parties. So you could take one of a bag full of these and just have a party on the go. So you're slipping in that information about that basket party, and they don't even realize you're doing it. So once everybody has guessed and everyone's at the party, a great way to start the party is just say, I'm going to announce my winner. So now you've got everybody's attention because they want to know who won. So you can announce your winner. And I like to have a, a bucket full of prizes at my parties, and it's super simple. I have stuff in here. It's nothing big. It doesn't cost me a lot of money. Hand sanitizers, they come in a three pack, so I'm going to give out, you know, one. And honestly, typically they're stuff that I've bought from closeout or from big sales. So I've paid next to nothing for these, but they're getting a prize, and they really enjoy it. Um, I have stuff in here like bath tablets. Again, bottom line, it was a big closeout sale and you open up the package and give out one bath tablet. Uh, so this is a really inexpensive way to do prizes. Or you can have one specific prize for the game. This is just what I choose to do because then they get to choose what type of prize they want. At this point, you're going to introduce yourself to the guests and thank the host. 
have a little gift for your host. It doesn't have to be big again. It can be a set circle. It could be something from the dollar store. If you have a themed party, some hosts like to have themed parties or maybe there's a particular holiday, you can get something really simple from the dollar store that doesn't cost you a lot of money, but it's just the showing your host that you care about her and you're gonna give special attention to anybody else who hosts a party from that. You wanna highlight your story. Okay, talk a little bit about the business, why you started the business, what it's done for you and your family. And it doesn't always have to be all about money or how much you're making. It can be about, I am doing this business because I desperately needed a night out once a month. And so I did this because I needed a break from my kids and it's been awesome and I'm a better mom because of it. Or it can be, I did this because I wanted to meet more people and I have all these friends now that I wouldn't have ever met apart from Sensi. You share your why, share, share what the business has done for you in a way that's gonna connect with your guests. <laughs> and then you're gonna play a game. I know some people love games, some people hate games. Whatever you do for a game, it needs to have the potential to generate income. Okay, we don't do <coughs> games just for the sake of doing games. All right, while I, icebreakers and stuff are fun, you're here for a party and you're here to sell Sensi, to meet new customers, to have new hosts, to have new consultants, and so everything you do has to have a purpose. So we're gonna do a really simple game, and what I have done is at the beginning of the party, when I was mingling with those guests, I was handing them one of my business cards with a little sample in it. This is their gift that they got for coming to the party. They got a little sample, okay? Wax sample, really cute, I use little candy molds, and it's the scent of the month. And so I hand that to them when I'm meeting them, introducing myself, learning their name, and say, okay, well hang on to this because you're gonna need this a little bit later. So at this point, we're gonna play text me or call me, whichever they prefer. And I'm gonna tell them all to grab my business card and the first person to text me or call me is going to win the deluxe sample or the bigger prize. And again, I'm going back to my prize bucket and for this, I actually, I'm using Nikki's idea again. She's back there. I stole this idea from her, and it, I'm gonna point you all to her YouTube video because it was awesome. Uh, it's called How to Make the Cutest Scentsy Samples, okay, by Nikki, Nikki Millard. And this is how I reused my old testers. Pop the wax out, tie them up all cute so they look like little candies. And so they're getting more wax than they would typically in a sample. Looks bigger, it's a little bit bigger prize than them getting just a sample like this. Another cute way to have some inexpensive prizes that still make your guests feel um, special. So I'm going to have them text me, and the first number that comes in obviously is gonna win the bigger prize. Could be one of these or anything from my bucket. And then I tell them, go ahead and save my number in your phone now. Put my name, Jennifer Sheely, in your phone and put Sensi behind it or in front of it, whichever you prefer, because now you've got my number in your phone so when you run out of wax, you know how to get a hold of me if you ever lose that business card. Or if you all of a sudden decide you need to book a party or you need a gift at the last minute, my number is already in your phone and you know the best way to get a hold of me. It also makes it easy for me after the party because I can go back and with these contact slips, I can match up names with the phone numbers that have all come through into my phone and I can put those contacts in my phone. So when that customer all of a sudden calls me or texts me because they need something else, I can see immediately which customer is calling me or texting me instead of having the awkward, um, who is this? <laughs> okay. And at this point it makes it really easy to talk about the scent of the month because they've all gotten that sample in their hands. So I'll just say really simply, and did you know, this is a scent of the month, brand new this month, it's 10% off. Every month, Sensi comes out with a brand new scent. Um, and so let me know if you wanna be a part of my scent of the month club or whatever else, just to promote that. And I will also mention, we also have a warmer of the month that's also on sale every month. 